<sighs> Good morning, Diva Nation and WRJ Aryans. It's your girl, Ms. Diva, and um, yeah. Running a little late today. I'm tired. I'm like, eh. Can't find Shady Bit Man, maybe? Okay. So, I have a letter. Well, I, wrote, I got a letter last night from a young lady in Philadelphia. And she says, he broke my heart. She's been with her man for several years now. And that's how she put it. She didn't tell me exactly how many years. She just said several years. And she just found out that he cheated on her for the first couple years of that relationship. Um, morning, Ricky. So... It's been hard, but she chose to stay. Um, I asked her why she chose to stay if, you know, she felt heartbroken. She said she's invested so much time in this man, she didn't want to have to start all over again with somebody else. I understand that. But through all of that, she never mentioned that she loved the guy or anything like that. So that kind of troubles me. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying. Morning, Miss B trying to get out of the sun <laughs> so uh, geez no I don't want any boob shot oh that's better okay so she contends that um, she's been with this man for several years she doesn't want to start over with a new man and wants to know what she what steps she needs to take to forgive him well like I said, she never mentioned, you know, I love this man or anything like that. And I'm not going to assume that that is the case. But forgiveness and how you get there, that's a personal journey. Personally, if I can't let it go, then I need to let him go. And she said that now she's suspicious of everything. She's going through his phone. She's checking his Facebook. Um... You know, she's doing all, hey, Nick, she's doing everything she can to make sure that he's not continuing to cheat. She's even done pop-ups at his job. Okay, first off, for me, if I got to do all that, there's no trust there. Not only is she not talking about love, she clearly doesn't trust the man. Now, I don't know how long ago she found out what he was doing, but, um... If she's doing all that, in my opinion, there's not enough there to keep her there. It, it, that's not enough to keep me there. So I don't know what she really wants to do here. Um, yeah, it's yeah, insecurity is 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 a it's not a good look. I see why she would be insecure because if I've been with somebody for a number of years and found out for most of that time they were cheating on me. It would make me a little insecure too. But that's where self-esteem comes in also. She's doing way too much. But where self-esteem comes in, um, self-esteem is what would give her the strength to go. Because somewhere in the back of her mind, this is okay. That's why she's staying there. Right, Ricky, without trust, there's no relationship. I don't care what, if you, a friend, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, if you can't trust that other person, you have no relationship. So maybe it is time to move on. I, I'm usually the last person to tell somebody they need to leave a relationship. But I, just based on what she has said to me, now if she wants to elaborate, that's fine. But based on what was said to me, there's not enough there to sustain a relationship. You're going to always be looking over your shoulder, watching him, hawking him going through his phone okay i'm not doing all that i you know if i if i have to do all that i might as well be a detective and get paid for it uh nick no they are not married they're boyfriend and girlfriend they've been together she as she put it several years and she found out that for the first few years he had been cheating on her so i really don't know how long they've been together but um no they are not married and even if they were, I would still feel the same way. No trust. There's no relationship. Why are you putting yourself through all that? Um, for him, for her to be able to go through his phone and do all the things that she's doing, I'm assuming they at least live together, though. And that would probably make for a very stressful household. 
Um, personally, I don't have time for it. And as far as her question, as far as rebuilding trust, um, if you are not rebuilding trust, forgiving, you have to let it go. If you truly want to forgive this man, you got to let it go. You got to stop doing all that MacGyver stuff. Um, pray on it. Again, I don't know if there's love involved here because she did not indicate that, but you have to let go of all that stuff so you can move forward if you truly want to be with this guy. That's my take on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not like I swallowed Kermit again. I'm going to go. Okay. Nick is saying she needs to move on. He should be man enough. And if he loved her, he would have committed for life. Too much work. I agree. That would be my position. If And I feel like this. If you got to cheat on me, you're not committed to me. So why am I staying? And that's something she also needs to look at. And hopefully she'll get some resolution. I don't know. I don't know. But she was asking about rebuilding trust. And in order to do that, she has to let go of what she's distrustful of. She's got to stop or, you know, forgiving. I'm sorry. I keep saying rebuilding trust. She's got to let that go and basically let God. Frankly, I, I think she needs to go. But <laughs> speaking of going, I'm going to go. I'm at work. Um, people are walking in looking like. They're on their way to their own funeral. So I don't know what's going on in there. <laughs> but I will see you guys tomorrow. I got a couple of, um, not questions, but some some things born of conversations that I've had over the last couple of days. We're going to talk about those tomorrow. And I will see you guys this weekend for Love Unlimited Live. Um, 8, 8 p.m. till 11 out west. 11, 8, 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. out east. And for the old school cool down. And if y'all missed yesterday's old school cool down, boo to you because we actually had a lot of fun. So I will talk to you guys later. Be blessed. And if you're trying to forgive somebody, you're going to have to let go of what you're trying to forgive them for. Bye bye.